Hi everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. So I want to take a look at our week ahead. Haven't done one of these in a while. What do the cards say is coming up? We're going to look at what's going on in politics, in the news, things that might be behind the scenes. Let's find out what's going on. I'll be right back and we'll get started. Okay, so I wrote out a spread and laid out some cards. So for the political, what's going on with that? Well, I have the Page of Swords that came out. I'm using my herbal tarot deck. So the Page of Swords is about gossip, hearsay, needing to be very clear in your communications, and knowing that things may not always be on the up and up. Sometimes news can get out of hand. Sometimes things might be over-exaggerated or under-exaggerated. Uh, there's all kinds of sketchy things that can be associated with that page of swords. It's a messenger about communication and usually a little bit underhanded. So look for that politically, that things that were told in the news, just know that it might not be exactly as it's being portrayed. That said, society right next to it has the emperor for their card. The emperor is about control, power, dominion, and also a strong eye for leadership and organization. Now, this emperor is looking right directly back at this kind of sneaky page. So, this tells me that society may not be buying what is being portrayed politically. There could be some political, uh, I don't know what the word I want to use, but strategies, things that are being pushed out in the news that are happening politically. And I think there's going to be a large segment based on the Emperor card being a major arcana, that are saying, I don't think we quite trust what's what we're being told. And it's larger than people think. Um, this to me is a huge looking back at this card going, hmm, I don't think so. So Politically, I think a lot of people are waking up to what's really going on, or at least they're questioning and looking at the kind of the sneaky stuff politically going, hmm, I don't think so. And this is really good. I haven't really seen this outright. It seems like there's been a lot that's been covered up. So basically what I want to say to this is whatever comes out in the news this week. The people, by and large, aren't gonna buy it. We'll leave it there, okay. World news, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of uh, having, it has to do with abundance and money, but it's very much tied to this order and control emperor energy. And so this seems like there may be some eyes on possibly the United States or some organizing force. Hmm. I'm also sensing something with a, on the world stage, a country that is trying to make a deal with a powerful nation. And I'm kind of feeling like this is Russia and it's not Ukraine. I feel like there's there's some that are trying to renegotiate, probably having to do with their own financial security. So perhaps um, gas and oil, uh, but I sense it could be Germany but I, I sense that there's somebody coming back to Russia trying to get them to renegotiate something um, that will help this country financially. And they're almost like, um, I just get the image of going and asking, you know, not quite begging, but, you know, asking to, you know, please renegotiate, um, help us out. 
Um, it's it's for a financial piece, a financial deal, um, and the the country that I I think it's it's got to be somebody going to Russia. That's what I'm feeling. A nation going to Russia, asking for help, asking them to renegotiate, asking you know, kind of like hat in hand, going, "My bad, so sorry, please help." And it, it feels as though this country is. It, I mean, okay, I'm just I'm just gonna tell you what I see in the cards. That's how I read the cards. Yes, the cards have meanings of their own, and I do use that. But if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you know that I go off of images and what the images tell me. And I'm just seeing this Nine of Pentacles right behind the Emperor, but the Emperor's got its back. I don't know that Russia's going to be willing to talk to anybody right now. But they're being sought after. Maybe it's behind the scenes. I don't know. But somebody is asking Russia to please reconsider. And right now, Russia's not really listening. Okay, and Russia, like them or not, I'm just telling you what I see, Russia's in a place where they don't need to talk to anybody. Okay, they don't need anyone's permission. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. And so trying to get them to come to the negotiating table or the renegotiating table may be a little bit of a challenge because what do they have to gain? So I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that there's somebody that's really pushing Russia to please help and it may or may not work, okay? Russia's got its own issues looking in other directions and this is not a priority for them, okay? Behind the scenes, okay, this is all, this is all pulling together in a line. I'm just going to keep reading the cards as they show up here. Behind this Nine of Pentacles card is this card. This is the card of risk, abandonment. It's it's a caution card. And what I'm feeling like, and I think it's Germany, could I, that may or may not be exact, but say that it is, for instance, Germany's facing a very bleak winter, a very dark winter. Take a look at this card. Okay, so you see there's snow on the ground. This person is trying to stay bundled up and warm and they're facing an uncertain future. And that is backing up this card here that is trying to get the attention of the Emperor card, which I believe represents Russia. And this is a very dire situation. And somebody, God bless them, are trying very hard and... Um, you know, you never know. Just keep trying. You never know if Russia will renegotiate or come to some sort of terms that will help this other nation. But somebody's very desperate is what I'm getting. I think they're facing reality is what I'm getting. Okay, the past. What is fading away? Well, we've got the devil card. The devil card. Pan in this deck. Devil card. Okay. Well, that's interesting. If that's the energy that is fading, that is losing strength. Um, hmm. All right, let's keep going. That's just interesting. Let me see what else pulls into that, if I'm getting any other artwork that pulls me into more of the story. The future is what's ahead, and I've got... Okay. We have the Knight of Swords on what's coming up. This is a card of taking action. And having this... It, it, uh, it's very interesting that this Knight of Swords is facing away from the Devil card, telling me that, in fact, this energy is fading away. Now, the question would be to know what exactly the Devil represented. And that could be a lot of things. That could be, um, well, the Devil represents bondage, materialism, um, untruths, it can represent a lot of things that keeps people stuck. So perhaps this energy is facing away from that devil card, wanting to strike out and, and do something new and move away from that energy that has been stuck. Perhaps that devil can represent an impasse. Because the, the top line on this deck, and I'll show you the cards as they 
as I laid them out at the end of this video. But the top cards represented in a line a story, and I think the story is continuing with this impasse and having to walk away from an impasse and find new direction, find a new path forward. And this, this knight is a very strong card of finding a new path forward. I think there's a stalemate and an impasse and this looks to be on the world stage, okay, more than just the United States. This is on the world stage, this whole thing, I think. Number seven, um, what do we need to know? Well, we have the star. This is really, really nice, especially for those countries such as Germany and possibly the UK and others that may be facing um, a difficult winter ahead with high cost of fuel and heating sources and issues with that, there's the hope card. So perhaps not all is lost, that's what this hope card represents, is that there literally is hope for this situation. That's why I'm thinking whoever this person is, this nation is that is pestering Russia to please reconsider, to not give up hope. And that hope card is right underneath this card here in the way I have my cards laid out. And again, I'll show it to you at the end. The star is right underneath. So whoever this is, if it's Germany, if it's Germany, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep finding a way to renegotiate and try to play nice and not poke the bear and just try to see if you can negotiate something. Somebody has it in them to do something good for their country. And a lot of lives depend on you getting it right. So don't give up. The overall outcome. Ah, this is a really nice card. The overall outcome for all of this is a two of cups. Hugely positive. Right after the star, the card of hope, we have a partnership forming. So I think this whole thing could turn around this issue, this country that literally needs Russia's help. And maybe they've acted foolishly in the past. This is the time to, if you have not quite grovel, but maybe this is the time to say, okay, help us out here. What can we do to make this better for our people so that our people don't starve, don't freeze this winter, that kind of thing. I think there is a path forward to a new beginning. We have this ace underneath, which is the card of new beginnings, especially financially. I think there's hope for this situation. I know there's been a lot of people feeling like what the, this situation is hopeless with what's happening with the food and the fuel and all of that. It's not hopeless. I think there is hope to continue to forge a path of a partnership again. And you don't always have to like another nation to be able to work out a deal that's mutually beneficial for your people. It's just the nature of the game. And I think that's what's going to have to play out here. But this country needs to keep in mind Russia doesn't have to. They're not in a position where they have to uh, negotiate with anybody. They're pretty much self-sufficient. And they're pretty much setting up their own parallel polis where they're pretty much on their own and they don't need to be dependent on other nations for their well-being. And that is very strategically done by Mr. Putin to put Russia in a good position. So I think this is going to be playing out this week. We may be seeing these inklings, these things poking out in the news. Um, it's hard to know with the news, not everybody's on the same page, but I think this will be coming out in the news this week. So look for that. I do sense that Russia is preoccupied, obviously with Ukraine is what I'm seeing here, with that page of swords, um, the, much, <laughs> the much more youthful and inexperienced, this is what this card represents. And I see Russia looking at Ukraine as that way, and that's where their focus is. So all of this other stuff is kind of tertiary. It's not really the focus of Russia. 
but I do sense if someone is persistent enough, they may be able to turn the tide and to help their nation avoid a very dark winter. Okay, that's what I have for this. And I thank you for watching. This has been Intuitive Edge. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.